I still remember those days when books were just for eating, chewing or tearing purpose. My hyperactive child never sat at one place to read a book. I'm sure many of us parents face the problem of how to read a book to our child. Therefore, I am here to tell you how I made reading fun for my toddler. A toddler's brain at this age is hardwired to a few elements like novelty, curiosity, imagination, hands-on learning and adventure. So wherever your child sees these elements in any activity, that activity actually becomes desirable and fun for your child's brain. Now we need to add these elements into book reading and once these once uh, book reading gets all these components it gets associated with fun so now we have book reading attached to fun and this link will always remain in your child's brain for lifetime so once this connection of lifetime is made and your child is attracted to book reading, even if a few of these elements gets eliminated, uh, this element of imagination actually empowers all these components mentioned here. So much so that once you are now, now when your child will actually look at any book at any given point of time, the fun bulb will actually get eliminate, uh, sorry, illuminated in your child's brain. Adding these elements do require some extra time and efforts. And I remember initially I had started feeling so frustrated about those efforts going wasted. But now when I see my daughter going to her library and getting a book herself to me and asking me to read to her, I feel at the top of the world and all my efforts are now getting paid off. So here is what I did. Firstly, I made a library for my child and I placed books everywhere in the house wherever she could reach to. Two, I got different types of books, you know, ranging from sound books to touch and feel books to flip the flap, follow the trail, bath books, whatever books you could think of I got for her just to know what interests her the most. Three, um, one thing that I did not do was getting her educational books like this is one elephant or two fish or three pandas because these books somehow did not work for my child. What worked for her was story books. So majority of the books in her library are the story books. And fourth and the most important point that really, really worked for us was to have lots of activities related to that particular book. So what are these activities? These were hands-on learning activities related to that particular book. So you can take anything in the book which is there and have a fun play with it. So these activities were new. My child was of course curious about it and it was hands-on learning. I placed these activities in different trays in a shelf where you know she could actually reach herself, take it down and do it all by herself. So yes, it, it did include all these four elements that your child's brain is actually hardwired to which we just spoke about. So I'm going to tell you an example of these activities. I read this book called Spot Goes to the Park with My Child of which there is a storytelling video of mine in the playlist. You can check it whenever you want. And uh, I'm now going to show you all these activities page-wise that I did for my child. So here it goes. So the first thing that the um, book focuses on is sports ball. He actually takes it to the garden to play. So I've got these colorful balls here with me and I've got these colored mats. So I actually encourage my child to spread these mats and then I ask her to actually assign these balls on each color. So orange goes on orange, yellow goes on yellow, blue goes on blue, red on red and green on green. 
so the another activity i have uh, three different size balls here as you can see i encourage my daughter to arrange them size wise with this i also introduce language to her like small medium large sometimes i also add more elements and i ask her where will this ball go or where will this ball go so she actually arranges it size wise so I have another uh, ball activity wherein it's very simple. I just have one marker and a ball in with which I'll encourage my daughter to scribble on it. As Spot and Helen loves to chase behind the pigeon, I have a pigeon activity here wherein which is also a great fine motor skill activity. So my child has to just use these tongs, put one corn on one dot two on two if you require these printable printables please uh, comment below and i'll be glad to share the same with you spots ball actually goes and hit mr elephant while he's reading the newspaper so here we have our own newspaper and a great fine motor skill activity where the child has to tear the newspaper into long strips so while the child is actually having fun by tearing it or crumpling it or doing whatever, its brain is actually uh, relating this particular fun with that page of the book. So as the book is about spot going to park and we have a very plain park here which the child has to actually add in these elements. So again you can add vocabulary words like this is seesaw and this is also a great imaginary play wherein the child actually beautifies the park with all these printables. So Spot and Helen loves to sit on the swing in the park and so does every child. Here we have a great printable of various swings and some happy children here so again we have to assign one child on one swing and one and two swings so another two children on this swing and so on and so forth so it is a great math activities again relating it to the book as you just saw that Spot and Helen actually plays Piggy in the middle with Tom. So here I don't have Tom but he has a great tracing activity with a marker. And you know the child just has to trace these lines as per the printable. So you, as you just saw that uh, Spot, Helen and Tom, they all meet their new friend, the duck in the park. Here we have our very own two sweet little ducks which my child actually has to wash and brush and clean and of course wipe the mess once it's done. A great correlating activity along with the message of self-care. Hope you enjoyed my video and will have fun reading with your child. So quickly start placing books in every nook and corner of your house and do at least four activities to make the association of your child's brain with fun. Remember, you are creating your child's future. If you have any troubles starting with reading to your child, do feel free to comment below and I will be happy to help. And do subscribe my channel if you like this video. Thank you.